Hi, uh, welcome to RF Safe. Here we are doing our second Seacrest seed experiment. Here we have the uncontrolled uh, seeds. We're getting ready to start growing them today. We just put them in there. We have 100 seeds in each of these. And you can see that it's separated by a Faraday or, or basically our shielding material that's actually used in all of our cases. Um, and uh, you know, so we've basically um, provided shielding for the control. And then we also have you know, as you can see down here, um, you know, we have a cooling fan, we have a, you know, a Netgear router, dual van, um, you know, so we're going to see the difference side by side using this time-lapse photography method. Um, and basically, you know, here's the uh, time-lapse photography here, um, you know, and of course the water that we used. Um, and now let me just kind of show you exactly what's going to go on with this meter. Now... This is the Acousta, this is the Acousta meter, it is the uh, 538B, a, um, you know, analyzer. And is what I want to show you first, okay, is on this side. As you can see, it's totally pegging the needle, you know, you know, right here over top of the router. Okay, and it would be doing the same um, had, if we didn't have this shielded. Now, see, as you can see on this side, um, you know, you can, the acoustic meter, you, the sound itself is basically, you know, going down nothing. You can see it's slowly dropping to zero. And that's just having our shielding in, in between the router and the device. And, and it's, you know, just, just kind of moving around there a little bit, but it got right down there to zero a second ago. And that's just this shielding that this, this blocking it from the router that you can probably see just right underneath of there. You know, versus, you know, on this side, you know, as you can see, it just completely pegs it out. Um, you know, so this right here, in no matter where you are, really in the building, even from even from this direction, you're still going to pick up the the sound of the actual meter right there. You know, so that's even on, on the other side of the shielding material. You can you can just see how loud it is from you know this distance. You know, so you know, and of course you can look at the readings as well. You know, and now this, as we get a little bit closer, there we go, it just pegs it out completely. But now, you know, as we get a little bit further, the readings still do stay rather high. Um, but when we get over here on the other side of our shielding material, <coughs> you know, comparing our, and you can hear it, it's, it's designed. Now, that particular sound is the sound of, of a Wi Fi router. So when you own one of these meters, you're actually aware of that. But there's that one. And then this, here we go, is the sound of it basically dropping an oven. And as you can see, it'll slowly drop right on down there. Now, that's our shielding. So we're going to go ahead and start our experiment. And as you can see, that we are definitely, uh, you know, and there's energy. Like, we can even go up to here, this high above the shield. And you can just listen to how loud that is, um, you know, and uh, versus on this side of the shielding. You know, and then when we get down to where our seeds are, there's virtually you know, hardly any RF at all. Matter of fact, it's probably one of the lowest RF spots on the, in the building. Um, and so, anyway, we're going to go ahead and start this experiment today, um, and we'll look forward to showing you the results of the time lapse photography done um, within two weeks. Thank you very much, and uh, thank you for visiting RFSafe.com.